Well, welcome back. The National Association of Resident Doctors, NAD, has initiated a seven-day nationwide warning strike starting from August 26, 2024, that was yesterday, to demand the release of their kidnapped colleague, Dr. Ganiat Popola, who has been held in captivity for over eight months now. Dr. Ganiat Popola, a registrar at the National Eye Center in Kaduna, was abducted along with her husband and nephew. While her husband was released in March, she and her nephew remain in captivity. Now, President Dr. Dele Abdullahi announced that the strike would be total, with no emergency care services provided during this period. The decision followed an emergency National Executive Council meeting, and we've already seen groaning from so many quarters about uh, what is happening now that the doctors have downed tools. To talk with us this morning is Dr. Caleb Ekuri, immediate past president, Association of Resident Doctors, University of Calabar Teaching Hospital, Calabar. Good morning and welcome to the program, Doctor. Okay. Okay. So let us know how uh, how aggrieved you are, how how really serious this is. Let's know the gravity of the case in point that is making your association to go on strike as it is. Yeah, we thank you very much, sir. We as medical doctors uh, we have decided to stay back in Nigeria, uh, actually endangered species as it is right now. It has come to a point where if um, the government can even um, you know, establish national wildlife conservation to protect animals, that they should look to protect medical doctors. The um, doctor in question, Dr. Ganiya Popola, who have been in the hands of her doctors for eight months now, is only one of several cases. Of course, you are aware that last year we were on air like this, following the kidnap of uh, Professor uh, Mrs. Philip Biffren here in Calabar, Consular State. About the same time, that was July um, 13, 2023. About the same time, July uh, 20, uh, 23rd of July 2023, this um, a doctor in Ukum, local government area, Bengal State, was also kidnapped. June 5, 2022, a professor in uh, Grand University um, College of Medicine was kidnapped. Luckily, the doctor in Bengal State was, you know, rescued. But up to date, the professor that was kidnapped um, from Abia State, and of course the, that of Calabar, have not been seen. So it's, a, it's, it's, an, it's an issue of national importance, national emergency. You know, an emergency, that be, an emergency need to be called concerning and doctors. A state of emergency for the protection of medical doctors that have decided to stay back because we can as well leave the country. We are aware of the issue of um, severe manpower shortage. We have this issue of poor remuneration that are being paid to doctors bed. Even more than that, the issue of security of our lives and that of our loved ones and our property is, um, is even trying to uh, prioritize that of the poor remuneration, as I've said. Mm. So, but in the time being, Dr. Popola, uh, Popola has been in the hands of our doctors for eight months. And with the, the fact we've gotten, over 100 million naira paid as one sum, and they're still keeping her. Okay, and then um, with no sign. So the seven days morning strike by night is just the latest activity. We have actually been trying our best to reach out to the government of the day to secure her unconditional release. Mm. We have written um, two weeks ago, we, we, we were on the streets, we protested, or oh, yeah, some went to the street, but actually it was an in house protest. In all the health centers across um, the nation, doctors were out there protesting for the release of their colleagues. As it is now, uh, Mr. Gadji, we actually soft targets for miscrimes. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know why. Probably, um, I don't know. We've heard a lot of things. Some say they use doctors to treat um, other people that are doctors. Some others are like, um, also, I think when you, you carry them, something will come out. So we are soft target. We are endangered. That is what I have to say. Hmm. Something needs to be done. 
Okay, um, w when, when you talk about uh, security for doctors, what really do you expect the government to do? Give you security details or you're talking about general security that will also uh, benefit the doctors? General security that will not only benefit the doctors, but Nigerians. We are part of Nigerians. Most of the time when, you, when the security agency goes in there, they see other people that also capture. But then I'm saying that in addition, we know the medical doctors are soft target right now. So they are targeting us and it's spreading like wildfire across the nation. I think it's happened somewhere in River State at some point, they moved to cross River State. It's been moving. There's virtually no state. The Anambra State one was just a few um, days ago. After that, in fact, currently, the medical doctors is in captivity in Kogi State. So it's just spreading like wildfire. So they, I think the kidnappers are beginning to see that, okay, these doctors are useful to them. So we are endangered species, and we are not saying that, well, of course, they, they cannot give each uh, medical doctor's personal security details to move around with. But to secure, okay, take for example, the Dr. Galea we're talking about, she was kidnapped from the hospital quarters. She worked in National Eye Center Kaduna. Some of them were carried from their clinic. Professor Philip Ephraim was from their clinic. So they should know what to do to improve the general security. But in addition to that, what we are saying is that when a medical doctor is sick, you know, it has become an um, epidemic. So when, is, when any of us, you know, fall into the hands of this miscarriage, government should do more. Hmm. Just like what they did for the medical students. All, everything, all the security apparatus was activated. And they are all out. It took just how many days, and they were out. So if government had done what they should do, believe me, this lady would not have been in captivity. Okay. So what is the level of response so far from the government? Because you've said you've made representations to the government, and then you followed that up with uh, an in-house uh, protest where every health facility uh, had that uh, demonstration to show that you're not happy about what is happening. So how has the government responded to your pleas, to your interactions and everything? Promises upon promises. Promises upon promises. I was the sitting president last year. And just many few days when, um, after our professor, who is said to be found to date, was kidnapped, I had the opportunity of meeting with a top um, government official in course of the state. And there were all promises. We will do this, we will do that, we will do that. So it's the promises. And if we keep on relying on these promises, we want to see results. That is why we are on strike now. Hmm. We are past the stage of promises. We want to see results. These people are in Nigeria. So please, they should go ahead, because that's the best they have said. They are doing everything. But we can no longer bear the pains. Injury to one is injury to all. True. This lady has been in the hands of her doctors for eight months. Imagine the weather condition. We don't know. You know, why should the human being, not to talk of a medical doctor, be treated that way in their own country? So we, we, we feel that it should be more than theoretical. They should go to work and get that lady out. And then any other time that such things, such this thing, they should just activate all the necessary, those that worked are just a case study, they wasted. Activate everything. Helicopters were flying, DSF men on ground, NSI, all of them. Put them on ground, put them under pressure. From what I read, they, when you put them under pressure, they will leave that, they, 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 they will have no other option than to release um, who is in captive with them. Okay, so that's the role that you want the government to play, to activate the security apparatus, to make sure that they put pressure on the abductors to release the person. Now, what if, God forbid, but what if uh, after everything you discover that Dr. Popola is no longer with us? Well, thank you. You probably say God forbid. And let me join you and also say God forbid. Because um, we have um, cases, I think I read of um, the last of the prospective copper, the ones from Aquidom, you remember? Mm. I think I read um, a few days ago that that last um, guy had been released after one year. So rather than saving his nation, he went and served in the hands of them. Um, yeah, he, he saved the bandits. So, 
Yeah. Yes, he set the bandits for, for one year. They were supposed to save Nigeria. Mm. Now, we, I think from what the, the intel we had, there was proof of life up to about three days ago. And we believe that she's alive and she will um, get back to us. But like you said, life is real not there. If by adventure, it's happening that way. But our message needs to be passed. Our message is that, it's what I've said earlier, government needs to be more proactive when it comes to the issue of medical doctors because we are endangered. If they can protect elephants, if they can protect lions, you know, from poachers, they need to protect doctors. In fact, I feel that what we, when we win this battle is when, if a kidnapper, you know, mistakenly carry a group of people and then discover that one of them or two is a medical doctor, they should release the person because know that they cannot be at peace. That government will go for them because we are endangered. We are not many. Many have left the country. Many will leave the country. Not just for poor uh, uh, MP, but also for security issues. Like I said, it's actually topping the reason why they are living. Oh, it's gone beyond um, 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 uh, welfare in terms of money. Okay. Um this is a warning strike, which means there's something bigger than this. So if the government fails to do what you're uh, hoping that they're going to do, what next? Total and indefinite. Total and indefinite strike. We shut down all over the country. Because you know, apart from the government, these people are in the communities. Some of the patient relatives they are treating may be related to uh, abductors. So if they fail to meet our demand and to um, release her unconditionally or whatever they can do to bring her out alive, then the rest are sure that we are going to declare an indefinite strike and it will be total. How long is the window that the government has? You know, because after one week, how much time do they have to make sure that they fulfill all your, your, your demands? It will depend on them, because after one week, um, Matt will convert again to our place. We went on recess uh, following the extraordinary neck that was held um, uh, 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 on Sunday, in particular, 25th. So they have, they, 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 the time is with them. So in the same way, if they release her today, of course, we'll call back and go back to work. So the other way around, if they don't, we'll have to wait for them until they do the needful. We are actually endangered. Uh, we understand that it's it's really it's really disturbing that the little if, is in fact not just the doctors because you might be a doctor your wife may not be a doctor your child may not be a doctor so it would make no sense to say that let me protect the doctor of the family and let the wife or the children be kidnapped because everybody needs to be protected and I don't know um, are there things that the government can do to begin to show you that they are serious about the promises they have been making and failing at this time. What kind of results do you want to begin to see immediately before even the release of uh, Dr. Popola? Okay, before I tell you about the results we want to see immediately, I will talk about our, our loved ones, our spouses, our children. Mm. There is a, a Calabar protocol. It's um, getting um, national significance, Calabar protocol. The Calabar protocol simply means that if you cannot a medical doctor or the wife, the spouse, or um, the, the child or children, as it were, we will go, we will shut down. In fact, initially, we will shut down immediately. But later, I think we will change it to giving government about 72 hours, if I'm not mistaken, to shut down. So I think, well, something like an auto strike. So it's not just for the doctor, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm the relative of the doctor, because it happens sometimes that they carry the, the doctor's wife or the children. So if you carry, if you take any of them, it can become an auto strike. As you are picking them, you are going on strike to pay some more demand. Then I'm um, getting back to um, the question again about... Um, the immediate results you want. The immediate result we want, like I've said before, is that the Dr. Daniel Popular in question should be released. They should do anything they want to do to release her. Of course, the people are still demanding for money. They should know what to do to get her released. That's number one. Number two, 
at the event that a medical doctor is kidnapped anywhere in Nigeria, in this geographical space called Nigeria, we want the security to be activated immediately. Be it gun boats, gun trucks, helicopters, anything we want to use. Anything, anything we want to use. We want to see government. That is what we want to see. Then we'll feel protected. That is how um, even the animals are being conserved. Not to talk of human beings and then medical doctors who are helping others to live, putting their life at stake for others to live. Mm. Let, let, me, let me just understand this. Uh, you said earlier that over 100 million has been paid already, which means the kidnappers are making contact. And how far is that? Why, what reason are they giving for not uh, releasing Dr. Popula? Is it that the money is not enough? Or what, what are the reasons? Well, like we always say, we, we can't come online to give all the details, even if we are privy to them. However, I think generally they are demanding for more money. They want more money because, uh, it, you know, it, 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 I don't know. I don't know why, why they are doing that. The husband was released, came out, and I think initial 60 million, another 40 million, and they are demanding for another money. So what is the um, probability that even if they have this money they are demanding for right now, she will be released? Nobody can tell. These are not good people. These are criminal elements. These are uh, miscreants. So um, whatever they are demanding is, um, is, is, is just, um, I, 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 I don't know how to put it. That just is not really true. We don't know. And that is why we are even on this track because what they are demanding, what if they give them and then they now say bring another one? What will happen? Mm. Okay. So we really, we really don't know, but I know generally it has to do with money. Okay. They want more money. And where is the money? Where do we get the money from? Okay, let's just generally talk to the government with this platform that you have. Let's say uh, they are listening right now, so just talk to them directly as it is and talk to your fellow resident doctors as we wrap up. Okay, thank you very much. We want to call, to the, we want to call on the government of the day, led by His Excellency uh, President Ahmed Bonatelebu, and of course um, the ministers of health, of um, um, labor, and others within the um, Senate, and everybody that in, that in charge of um, security of life in Nigeria, that they need to understand that we are endangered by security, our, our, by insecurity actually, that our security is no longer guaranteed in Nigeria. And because of that, we are living in droves. Mostly, the already existing uh, manpower shortage in the health sector. So they should rise up and not to leave any case of kidnap of the doctor or even um, a close relative, you know, um, or to treat them in levity as if they just um, as if you don't care. We want to see them do what they did in their West State to release the 20 uh, medical students and the house officer, a medical doctor. Mm. And to my colleagues, I want to say that, well, no lasting glory come without a fight. This is our country. Most of us that decided to stay, um, we are just being patriotic. We know that it's better out there in terms of um, pay, in terms of security, and many other factors. But we have decided to stay. Let's also fight together. And know that um, whatever we are doing, we are also helping the Nigeria as it were to, to remain in existence. Because if we continue like this, likely uh, maybe native doctors will be the one treating um, people in Nigeria or other people. They are not native doctors. And I can assure you that the quality of care will be terrible. Mm. Death will be on the increase. The wow. people that are trained should be the ones to treat. Mm. But may rise up to your responsibility, protect the doctors as you should, and protect every other Nigerians okay. as a shrine in our constitution. Okay. Oh, well, we thank God. We hope that it doesn't get to where it will be treated by Dibia or one, one native doctor or the other. And it's unfortunate that some of the people that will make the policies that will keep us safe may not even need the services of the doctors that we have in Nigeria because they have access to medical care from outside the country. But we hope something will touch them and they will do the needful and activate everything activatable to make sure that 
everybody, not even just doctors, because we have families, we have friends, we have loved ones and all that, every Nigerian should stay safe. We'd like to thank you, Dr. Uh, Kuri, for coming on the show, and we hope that your colleague will be released soon. Uh, person. Thank you very much for hosting me. Mm -hmm. I trust that uh, when she's released, you call me again so that we can discuss. Okay. But for now, um, we are still in the um, um, we strike mood. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. We've been talking with Dr. Caleb Akuri, immediate past president ARD, that is Association of Resident Doctors of the University of Calabar Teaching Hospital, Calabar. Uh, we were talking about the Dr. Popula, who has been in captivity for more than eight months. Uh, so, since there's still proof of life, and every other doctor that has been captured needs to be freed. And every Nigerian, for that matter, needs to be freed. We do hope that it will get to that time where we'll celebrate rather than mourn. Okay. So this is the size of our package this morning. We'd like to thank you for being a wonderful audience. We hope that uh, we're going to make it again tomorrow. Thanks for staying with us. My name is Nyamgul Agaji.